The Real Adventures of Johnny Quest originally aired on August 26, 1996. The series would last for a total of 52 episodes, ending on April 16, 1997. Johnny Quest aired on Toonami on March 17, 1997, and was the last show to air on its original opening day schedule. The series follows the adventures of phenomenologist Dr. Benton Quest, along with his son Johnny and close friend Race Bannon, as they travel the world in search of the extraordinary. The scripts for this series range from pretty good to merely average. There's a handful of exceptional episodes, but they're pretty few and far between. The characters, while archetypes, are relatable and fun, so if nothing else, they might keep you engaged in some of these somewhat formulaic stories. The voice acting is really good and helps make these scripts much more believable. J.D. Roth, George Segal, Robert Patrick, and many more add their talents to this series with some really solid work. The animation is where things start to really fall apart. Oh, there are some very well animated and directed episodes, but there's also some that are really bad and kind of hard to follow. The 2D animation averages out to being just okay, but that's not even getting into the 3D animation, which is consistently awful. The character models look like dead puppets, and the animation of said models is so clunky and rushed, I'm surprised they thought this was okay to air. It's a little difficult to get across just how bad the 3D animation is and still images, but you'll have to trust me. It's garbage. If you're still interested in this series, it's probably important to let you know that as of this recording, only the first season is available on DVD. It was split up into two halves, one that had a wide release and one that was a Target exclusive, so that one will run you a little extra money. However, the entire series is available through iTunes if you don't mind digital-only purchases. The Real Adventures of Johnny Quest has its moments, but ultimately didn't impress me too much. There's some good episodes, and since the series mostly has a one-and-done format, you can just watch the better episodes and skip the rest. Really, though, I would just skip this show unless you have absolutely nothing else to do with your time. I give The Real Adventures of Johnny Quest a 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching.